out there with, with them on spring training, um, waking up at 5 in the morning, uh, going to the field, so it, it was awesome. Right, and obviously the work aspect of yeah, it. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. Garrett, what has this week been like for players? Coach Brown was talking about minimizing the activities that yeah. you guys do here in Charlotte to try to get that family time while also practicing. Just what have the past few days been like? Yeah, it's been awesome. You know, uh, up here, this is really my second family. Um, so Christmas yesterday was awesome. Uh, just being able to spend it with all of them, having dinner with all of them. Uh, it's been cool, but then, you know, when he always says when it's work time, work time, play time, play time. So, you know, I think we've done a really good job of, of balancing that uh, so far this year, or this week. Over the two practices you guys have had down here so far, just overall thoughts, how, how things went? Yeah, guys feel good. Um, you know, we, we've really been practicing this game plan for, for two weeks now. Um, so now, now it's just getting to the point of sharpening it and, you know, taking out stuff that, that we don't want to run. I was talking with Coach Brown about what the past month or so has looked like for you and just working on your development. He said you guys have been working more on your past game. And he thinks maybe more things that will show up next season with you. Yeah. But what has the past month been like for you and what have those things you've been working on just for you personally? Yeah, it's it's been – it's kind of been just, you know, kind of just fine tuning things. It's not, they're not like, if, if it, just a regular, regular person walk down the street wouldn't notice anything. Um, but, you know, to, to people who know quarterbacks, what know football, it's just small incremental things that, you know, could, could lead, to, lead to a really big jump uh, next year. So, in, in those types of things, is that more just deep passes, getting the ball farther down here, just as far as the pass game goes, I, the next step? I'd say it, it kind of, kind of translates to, to all throughout the you know to, to the quick quick ones to the back you know intermediate short and then obviously deep balls it kind of translates to, to all four three or four levels mechanics um, obviously that's something mm -hmm. Neil's that's that's the next step for you some of the different things what are some of yeah. those, those minute things that you got to work on yeah I think it, it all starts with my feet and especially throwing left um, you know be, being a shorter guy you know so, sometimes I, I try to fight to get my Get my arm really high to get the release point high, which you know you, you don't need. Um, and I don't really have the problem with it going right, but going left, I kind of try to lean and get it get it high, and, and that leads to leads to inaccuracy. So that, that that's pretty much the the really big main one. And then you know kind of getting tying my feet and my eyes together because usually my, my eyes will be going through progression, but then my feet will get stuck on you know my second read or something. So it's really just marrying my my feet and my eyes together. And I know again from talking to your dad yesterday, um, he said. You've always been kind of a home run kind of guy. He said, yeah. Singles are good too. I yeah. think that's something he tells you. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, take the check down. Take yeah. the easy shot if you got it. Yeah. He, he, he texts me. He texts me all, all the time. Just just or on game day, he texts me. He said, "Don't don't be afraid to take crumbs. You know, you don't you don't need the whole damn loaf sometimes. Uh, cr crumbs are good, and that's that's something I'm continuing to learn. But that's just your style, though, right? And probably yeah. since you were a little kid, just just yeah. the way you always played. You know, yeah. Try it's, to... Yeah. It's that, that's how I've always played. You know, I'm always. I'm always wanting want to have the big one, and you know, it's sometimes sometimes not not to not to my advantage. And the last thing here, um, why are you so good in two minute plays? Why why does that just fit what you do? Whether it's the end of the half, end of the game. Yeah, I think our wideouts do do a really really good job of kind of getting the signal, and getting the line fast. Um, so a lot of times when they start their route, you know, the defense they don't even. They don't even have their, their cleats in the turf. Like they, they, they just got their call and they're still trying to line up. So I think that's that's a testament to you know them them getting a line fast um, and then the offensive line getting the mic IDs right and, and keeping me clean. Um, and then I think just two minute drills. Just you don't really have to think too much. Like just react. Like you just react. Like we we we've practiced these plays so many times that you know we, we know we know exactly what what to do on every play. So then it's kind of just oh this is the play. All right, we're, all right, this is what we're doing. This is slow down for you. You know you listen to great players and they always say at the key moments the game slows down. Yeah. Do you understand? You you, you get a, an idea of what they're talking about when that happens. Yeah, I think like Baylor really like the last drive at Baylor. Like I I saw it the the entire way and like when the ball left my hands like <clears throat> there there, <clears throat> there was never a doubt that. You know, Gene was going to come down with it. Right, right. Garrett, along, it. along the line of the receivers, Traylon Ray is a guy who's really come on in the last half of yeah. the season. What have you seen from him in his development? Yeah, I think you know he's finally learning learning how to practice and learning how to, how to really compete at a very very high level. Um, and you know he's he's still a true freshman, so he's still really really young. But you know everything you could want in a wide receiver is there. Um, if you see the way he tracks the ball, if you see the way he catches the ball, it just looks different than 
really anybody that, that I've kind of been around, um, you know, as aside from a few guys. But, you know, I think here in the next two, three years, he's going to be a phenomenal, phenomenal player. Along those lines, obviously, we know what Jaheim can do on the ground. He's also come up with some big yeah. catches for you. It seems his pass game is coming along. Uh, his receiving is coming yeah. along as well. Yeah, no, he, he's just a, he's just a damn athlete. So, like, any way, any way that me and Coach Brown can, you know, get him the ball, get the ball in his hands, uh, you know, we're, we're going to try to do that, whether that's, you know, throwing, throwing him a corner ball or, you know, handing him the ball off. You know, we're just trying to get him the ball in open space. What has this past month been like working for probably the first time since you've really been here without Zach Frazier at yeah. center? Yeah, it's it's kind of it's kind of sucked for for lack of better term. Um, you know, he's one of my best friends. Uh, you know, I, I miss him out there. Um, but you know, he's he's been around the building. He's he's been to every practice. Um, he's he's been talking with me. Um, and then I know we'll, we'll continue to do that uh, on, on the game Wednesday night. What have you seen from Brandon and his role? Yeah, well, he stepped in in a really big, really, really big moment um, at the Baylor game. Um, and so I have, I have all the confidence in the world that he's going to call a great game. Uh, the snaps are going to be good um, and that it, it's going to be smooth sailing. Last one for you before the game coming up tomorrow. Coach Brown talked about one of the challenges being North Carolina's pass rush. What yeah. have you seen from them in that aspect and just what are you expecting? Defense? Yeah, they, I, think they, I think they have one of the top edge guys that we've – that we've played against this year, um, you know, he's, he's really fast off the edge. Uh, he, you know, he, b he bends the corner well. He's big, um, and you know, they they've got after the quarterback, and I think that's that's what their defensive coordinator wants to do is you know pressure the quarterback and you know get him to make mistakes. Um, but I have all the confidence in the world uh, in my offensive line, so it should be a good one.